Till when Dr. Roswell Park was interrupted in the middle of surgery, he said he could not leave even if it were for the President of the United States. He was then told he had to operate on William McKinley, the President of the United States. I hope he didn't leave. And William McKinley would not survive, and it is widely believed his chances would have been better had they not performed surgery and tried to remove the bullet from his wounds. Boof, that article needs some proofreading. To which he replied, did I fucking stutter? True fact. Till that a hospital slash cancer center that I have been to many times was named after a person named Roswell Park, not person's last name followed by Park. This might be obvious to people from here, I don't know. I come from a town with Park in the name and it is person's name and Park, with Park not really meaning anything. Park proceeded to finish the operation. To be devil's advocate the good DR had been saying that for a nearly 30 years. Was only a matter of time until it was true. Isn't this almost like the plot for Monster, the anime? Wow imagine brushing off this little messenger and telling him I'm in surgery can't you see I can't leave, even for the President of the United States. And then the messenger says um sir, it, it is the President of the United States. Imagine how his face must have just turned around and looked at the messenger like. Imagine everyone else in the surgery room. It probably went really quiet for a second from shock. Wow I always thought Roswell Park was the area in Buffalo or something, didn't realize it was someone's name. That was your first mistake, Dr. Tenma. On Sept. 6, 1901, as President McKinley received visitors in the Exposition's Temple of Music, Leon Cholga stepped up and shot the President twice. One of the bullet entered the President's abdomen. McKinley was transported to the Pan AM Emergency Hospital. Dr. Roswell Park was in Niagara Falls performing neck surgery on a lymphoma patient. One of the surgeons assisting Park recalled that a messenger ran into the operating room to announce that Dr. Park was wanted urgently in Buffalo. Park said, Don't you see that I can't leave this case, even if it were for the President of the United States? Doctor, it is for the President of the United States. The assistant replied, Dr. Park asked a fellow surgeon to hurry ahead to the railroad station to make the necessary arrangements for a special engine or train to speed him to Buffalo. But when Park arrived at the station, he found everything in confusion, he had to wait 15 or 20 minutes until a regularly scheduled train came through. By the time Park entered the Pan AM Emergency Hospital at 6.50 p.m., the surgery was almost over. The operation was complicated by the fact that the president was a heavy man with a very large abdomen. Consequently, they were unable to locate the bullet. When Park walked into the operating room, he noticed that neither none of the surgeons wore surgical gloves, caps, or gowns, nor had they taken steps to disinfect the surgical area. Perspiration from one of the attending surgeons dropped into the president's open wound. The wound was closed without a drain in place. The president died at the Milburn residence on Sept. Gangrene was cited as the cause of death. Several weeks later, Dr. Park performed surgery at Buffalo General Hospital on a woman who had attempted suicide by shooting herself in the abdomen, a strategy that resulted in the same type of gunshot wound suffered by the president. The woman lived. How do they even choose which surgeon operates on the president? It's like an episode of It's Always Sunny. I can see it now, Dennis is cutting someone open guts and gore everywhere, while Frank is harassing female hospital staff, Charlie is anethodising himself, Mac is praying and Dee is trying to flirt with any men she thinks may be doctors. Dennis says he couldn't leave, even for the president and cut to title card, the gang operates on the president. The messenger ran into the operation room and told Park that he was needed immediately. Seven Park proceeded to say don't you see, I can't leave. I am in the middle of a case even if it were for the President of the United States, the messenger replied, Doctor, it is for the President of the United States. Park proceeded to finish the operation. For anyone curious. But Doctor I am Pagliacci. Man that Wikipedia article is in desperate need of editing. 
it reads like a cracked out high school sophomore's stream of consciousness, and Park finished the surgery. I guarantee he said that before to exaggerate but damn what are the chances. Did I stutter? The messenger replied, Doctor, it is for the President of the United States. Park proceeded to finish the operation. That is the type of surgeon I want to do my operations. That wiki article rambles on like one of Grandpa Simpson's stories, if he left the surgery that would have been fucked. Wow I'm from Buffalo and always assumed it was a park named after a man named Dr. Roswell. And then everything else was named after the park lol. Till his name was Roswell Park. It's mind blowing that doctors did not wash hands just a hundred years ago. Humanity has been a bunch of brutes back then. Yeah, about that grimacing face. Curb your enthusiasm theme plays. Did I fucking stutter? If only they had let Renpin use his newfangled x-ray machine on him, IIRC didn't they try digging the bullet out with their bare hands? Or am I thinking of Garfield? Fun fact he was shot in my city and ended up on the lawn of my high school, Canisius, before he was taken to Roswell Park, ICDR. Nick Riviera has moved state. Roswell is a fantastic hospital here in Buffalo, many family member have been treated there and a few work there. Fascinating fact, thanks up. Awesome Buffalo lore. Newly invented X-ray machines were being shown at the expo, which they actually could have used to find the bullet, but didn't. Roswell Park radiologists love that story. Dr. Tenma would like to know your location. I didn't know Roswell Park was a real person. I thought it was just a cancer treatment facility located in a park named Roswell. Motherfucker, what did I just tell you? Well based on what I know about President McKinley, I'm guessing Dr. Park was true to his word. Dr. Park, the President of the United States better be fucking dying if you're interrupting me right now. Assistant. And after executing the gunman the warden of the prison okay dumping sulfuric acid in the gunman's casket to completely dissolve him. This only after their idea of using quick lime to disfigure the corpse. Dude was electiocuted three times to be put to death. Jesus Christ. Don't worry for the patient, he finished the neck dissection before going to heal McKinley. McKinley's case is a good evidence of how radiography and antibiotics were progresses. Anyone here watched an anime called Monster? It's actually scary how similar this story is to it. Can you even imagine how hard this man must have shit himself when being told that? I'm not leaving even for the president. It's the president. Fuck. Operating the president doesn't seem like a great idea, cause nobody remember the surgeon's name when they survive, but they do when they die, hey. I worked at RPCI for a few years from 2009 to 2012, nice to see another RPCI employee in the wild. I used to work in the cell and virus annex. Ah, the days when that carried some weight. I only ever learned about her civil rights movement with the buses. Glad to see she went on and became a surgeon too. I just want to point out that stories like this are often apocryphal. This account comes from his son. It makes for a good story, but it probably didn't happen. I'm more fascinated by Charles Myers. I want to know more. Don't leave bud. One of my favorite songs. White House Blues, https colon slash slash www. YouTube. Com slash watch. V equals U8 C I K R O K H4. So he's the RP in the RPM I sell culture media. Till. I also remember when Roswell Park wouldn't sit at the back of the bus. Pretty much the plot of the manga monster. Does anyone remember that scene in one of the Shrek movies where the wake him up and he yells, Well, someone better be dying, and it's his frog father in law? 